Hi guys! So today I'm going to be doing a spoiler-free review on This Is Our Story by Ashley Elston. I'm sorry the cover is very reflective. This is a library copy. So This Is Our Story is about these five boys, these best friends, who go out into the woods to go hunting and one of them gets shot and killed. But none of the other boys will fess up and say who it was that shot him. So this book follows a girl called Kate who has an internship at the police department or like something like that. She's like, she works for the prosecutor who's working this case so she's trying to figure out who it was that shot this boy. I gave this book four out of five stars. I really enjoyed it though I do have a few problems with it. The plot was really good. I found it really gripping and I just wanted to keep reading and reading to find out what would happen next. Unfortunately about halfway through the book I did guess who it was that killed him. I read a couple other people's reviews on Goodreads and I saw some of them saying that it's written in a way where you can kind of figure out who it is by putting putting the clues together and you can kind of solve the mystery as you read the story. The way I kind of guessed it was like, it's too obvious to be this person, it can't be this person, so it must be this person, and that's who it was. So that was a little bit of a downfall, but nonetheless, even after I guessed who it was, I wanted to keep reading to see how it ended and what happened. I think the biggest issue that I had with the story was the characters. I didn't connect to any of them or really care about any of them. I'd say for like the last 100 pages or so, there was one character who I kind of started to like care for and not want something bad to happen to. But I've mentioned plenty of times on my channel that I'm a very like character driven reader and I really have to connect with the characters and care about them in order to really enjoy a story. Where with this one the plot was good enough that I didn't really need that to give it a higher rating but had I really liked the characters and connected with them I think this would have been a five star book. So that's kind of unfortunate but yeah. There's also a romance in this book which for a split second I thought there wasn't going to be but it's YA novels so it had to sneak in there somewhere and I just didn't really buy it. I did however like, and I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but for those of you who had read the book, the whole little like number switcheroo thing, I thought that was kind of clever and I enjoyed that aspect of the story. But other than that, I just didn't really buy the romance and yeah, the characters were just a big problem for me. As far as the writing goes, I thought the writing was really good. It was easy to read and I think that also adds to why it was so gripping and why I just wanted to keep reading and reading and reading. Also, the book itself is like not that big. I think it was a little over 300 pages. So I think the fact that the author was able to put this really good mystery into a smaller standalone novel without it feeling too rushed was really well done. But overall, I really enjoyed the this novel with the exception of a couple of things and I would totally recommend it to anybody who loves a good murder mystery novel. So that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. As always, leave me a comment down below and let me know if you've read this book and what you thought of it and I will see you in my next video. Bye! ...aspect of the story, but other than that... Ugh.